This is the exact same problem that we did on Friday here in class where you had to try it over and over by doing uh, only the speeds that are listed such as the 600, the 540, the 480 and you only had one speed you could choose to run it all the way through and the best that we could do on Friday was one nautical mile error at the very end for a total spacing error. Today we're going to hit it right on the nose because you are now allowed to change speeds in the middle of the flight which matches reality. So what you have to do to start a problem like this is to first figure out which, <coughs> which plane you are going to put in this target here which plane you're going to put in this target and which plane you're going to put in this target. The best place to start is to figure out the distances of each plane. So if we start down here at the bottom with United, notice that United could go this way and United could go that way. We'll start with these distances here. Please excuse the interruption. At this time, I need since the announcements just came on and interrupted us, we have to start here again. We're looking at this plane and we want to figure out the distance from this plane on this route to these three targets. How far away is this plane from that target? Thirty-one. From this one or this one? This one is 31. Okay, so what is this one? 34. What is this one? 37. All right, well, you should be writing all these down because we're not going to review this as the problem goes along. This is way too much to remember as we do this. So we'll start once again for this plane here to go from here on this route out to here is 37. For this one it is 34. For this one it is 31. Now we move on to the green plane. What is the distance from the delta plane to this target out here? 36. What is this target? 33 and this one. 30. On this one, there is no choice. We just have to come down on this route due to this thunderstorm. What is the distance from this plane to this target? It's not 34. 44. It's not 44. From here to there. 37. It's not 37. 36. It is 36. What is the distance to this one? 39, 39 and this one. 42. All right, now that we have all the distances listed down, our next decision is which plane is going to end up in this target here? Which of these planes would we want to put in this target and why? The green one in this target and why is that? It is closest. All right, so that's our first choice and here's what we're going to do. Delta from here to there is how far away? 36. It is 36. Okay, so we'll come down here and mess with the delta plane first. Delta Airlines, D equals RT. If it has 36 miles to go and we have this for a time, 3 minutes and 36 seconds. 
is there anything that I would have to do to adjust the speed of that plane if we're going to use it over the course of three minutes and 36 seconds? Will it hit that target at one constant speed over three minutes and 36 seconds? What do I have to do to three minutes and 36 seconds? Divide 36 by 60, and what do you come up with? 0.6. So we have 3.6 over 60 for our time. But we don't know the rate. If I solve for the rate, I'm dividing what by what? That's right. So in your calculator, 36 divide left hand parenthesis 3.6 divided by 60. And what do you come up with? 600. 600. So do we have to change that plane at all? No. no. So there's our first item. This is going to go first. It's in the left hand target. and 600 knots. There's nothing to do to that. So we're finished with that plane. But let's go down here and figure out what plane would we want to put in the second target. The red one and why. It's the second closest. So we want to go from here through there into the second target. What is that distance? That distance is 34. That is right. So now we're working on United Airlines, and it has a distance of 34 miles to travel. Okay, let's figure this out with D equals RT. If I have to go 34 miles at some constant rate over 3 minutes and 36 seconds, which we determined was 3.6 over 60, then what rate would that come out to be? 34 divided by left hand parenthesis 3.6 divided by 60. What is that? 566. Yeah, 566 and two-thirds knots. Do we have a speed up there that is 566 and two-thirds that we can choose? No. So that plane is going to have to go at two different speeds throughout the trip. What two speeds can we choose from is that 566 and two-thirds between? 600 and 540. So at some part of this trip, this plane is going to have to go 600, and at another part of the trip, it's going to have to be 540. All right. So here's the, the uh, trip that the plane is going to take. Start to finish. Somewhere in here it's going to have to travel at that speed. And somewhere in here it's going to have to travel at this speed. The whole trip is going to be 34 miles. Now, here, if we want it to be the second plane, and we want it to fall in behind the first one, so we can put it in the second target, here are two scenarios I'll give you, and you choose the one that is the most reasonable. Both scenarios are extremes. Scenario one is, I start this plane out at 540 for a little bit, and then I take it to 600 for the rest of the way. The other scenario is, I have it at 540 for most of the trip, and then at 600 at the very end. Which one seems more reasonable? The first one, we started at 540 for some part of that trip, and then for the rest of the trip, we do 600. Okay, we'll start there. Well, give me a time at which I sh you think I should change the speed of this plane. Give it to me in seconds or minutes, minutes and seconds, whichever. Take a guess as to how long that plane has got to travel 540. She says a minute and a half. Okay. So this is not drawn to scale, but I'm still going to put a minute and 30 seconds here. If that plane travels for a minute and 30 seconds at that speed, 
how much more time is left in the trip if we've already gone a minute and 33 seconds? Two minutes and six seconds. How did we come up with that? The time they gave you. Time, what was the time they gave us? 3.36, and we take a minute and a half away from it. We get that. Okay. So over here on the right-hand side, we're going to have to have D equals RT. We don't know the distance this plane is traveling, so that's what we're trying to find. We're setting the speed at 540, and the time is a minute and a half. How do I express a minute and a half in terms of an hour? 1.5 over 60. Yes. Okay, so D equals 1.5 over 60 times 540. 1.5 divided by 60. And then times 540. 13.5. All right. Now over here, D equals RT. We're setting it at a speed of 600 after a minute and a half. And we still have two minutes and six seconds to go in the trip. How do I express that six seconds in terms of a minute? Divided by 60. Yeah, six divided by 60 is what? Point Point 0.1. So how do I write two minutes and six seconds as an hour? 2.1. Over 60. Okay, so 2.1 divided by 60 and times 600. What's that? 21. Okay, how long is this trip altogether for this plane? 34 miles, and we have 21 and 13 and a half. What's 21 plus 13 and a half? 34.5. Did we go beyond the target or did we fall short of it? We went beyond. And if we went beyond the target, then what does that tell us about our arrangement of speeds? You got to go slower for longer. That's right. So how much longer are we going to go at 540? Give me another time. A minute 45. He said a minute 45. I'll take the first one that I heard. Okay, so here it is again. Here's the trip. Start, finish, and we'll make this a minute and 45 seconds. If I have a minute and 45 seconds at 540, how much time is left in this trip of 3 minutes and 36 seconds? One minute, 51 seconds. If you want to figure out an easy way to find that, how many seconds does it take you to go from a minute 45 to two minutes? 15, and then from two minutes to three minutes is another minute, so that's a minute 15. And then a minute 15 plus 36 seconds, 15 plus 36 is 51. All right, so we are going 540 for a minute 45 and 600 for a minute 51. Over here on the left, D equals RT. Uh, we're looking for the distance. The rate is 600 and we have a time of a minute 51. So I have to do 51 divided by 60 and that gives me 0.85. So 1.85 over 60. Yeah, it's 18.5 miles. And then over here, once again, we do D equals RT. The speed is 540. We have a minute 45. A minute 45 is 1.75. It's a minute and three quarters of a minute over 60. So 1.75 divided by 60 times 540. 15.75, so tell me what 18.5 plus 
plus 15.75 is? 34.25. So we missed it by a quarter of a mile, and did we go over or under? Wait. We. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I have a pattern. Yeah. What's the pattern? Okay. We were at a minute and a half, and we were over 50, and then we went up 15, and we lost 25. So we go another 15 to two minutes, we'll do another 25, and then minus 20. All right. Let's check it out then. We'll do two minutes. <laughs> We'll do two minutes at 540, and then we're going to do how many? How much time at 600? How much time at 600 if we do two minutes at 540? A minute 36 at 600. All right, so if we do D equals 600 times, now 36 seconds divided by 60 is 0.6. So 1.6 over 60. If I work that out, what does it come out to be? 1.6 divided by 60 times 600 is 16. Okay. And then over here at 540, we have two minutes even, so that's just 2 over 60 for an hour. So 2 divided by 60 and then times 540 is how much? 18. What's 18 and 16? 34. There it is. 34 miles. But you have to make certain that when you do these problems, you do the math that I just did on the screen. You cannot just have commands only. And as a reminder, when you write your commands, you must write it as if you're giving it to a 10-year-old because nothing can be left to chance literally so for this plane that we just did this is United Airlines here's what you would have to put for United Airlines you're gonna travel at what speed 540 knots for how long two minutes and then after that two minutes you're gonna do what you're going to speed up to 600 knots for how long? Minute 36. There are the commands. If you don't put that on there, then I won't know the speed. Also, what else can be put on there for that plane? The path. Here is the, the radar up here. What path am I going to tell it to go? Light at to mod. So down here at the bottom, you would have to include that as well. If you don't, I don't know where to go. <coughs> Light at to mod. Okay. We're going to run this on the simulator and leave the video now.